Hi there, and welcome to Cinema Nerds, the podcast. My name is Mike Turkus, and I am the editor-in-chief of CinemaNerds.com, your destination for everything movies. At Cinema Nerds, we have coverage of movie news, trailers, reviews, as well as the occasional interview. Every week on this podcast, we will be offering our views on the latest film releases, such as our topic today. Midway through The Lost City, or possibly even earlier, you may be faintly reminded of an older film called Romancing the Stone from 1984. Of course, this depends primarily upon your age. If you do, in fact, remember that earlier film starring Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner, and Danny DeVito, then you are more than likely not the target audience for this new sort of incarnation of the story and any shortcomings found in the film will probably be yours to bear alone, as The Lost City proves to be an entertaining piece carried primarily by the likability of the film's two leads. You led me straight to The Lost City. Now, prepare to die. There were just hundreds of snakes in this temple just waiting for us to show up. What? Why aren't they biting that guy? This is ridiculous. Delete. 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 As the film begins, we are introduced to reclusive romance novelist Loretta Sage, played by Sandra Bullock, who is beginning a promotional tour for her new book, along with the cover model for the series, Alan, played by Channing Tatum. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's sexiest cover model, Dash McMahon! You do know you're not Dash, right? Dash is a character I made up. Dash! I, I... Oh my god. During their first appearance on the tour, the pair are abducted by someone named Fairfax, played by Daniel Radcliffe, who plans to force Loretta to lead him to the location of the ancient lost treasure detailed in her new novel. Miss Sage, I enjoyed your book about the lost city, and I believe you're the one who can help me find its treasure. I have to respectfully decline. I'm afraid I must insist. Unchain me! That's your seatbelt. Oh no. Loretta Sage is missing. I'm gonna rescue her. I just want her to think of me as more than a cover model. Let's start living dangerously. Oh. Alan, what are you doing here? We're here to save you. I'm certified CPR, oh. I'm certified CrossFit. Oh, oh. I have snacks. Off to them! This is like your book. We're on a Love More and Dash adventure right now. I'm gonna help you out a little bit. Let's go. What are you doing? Don't do that. Go. Oh, Come God. On. Get out of there. This is not a romance novel. Jungles eat people like us. Ah, what is that? Get it off. Please. Please. I can feel him sucking speaking. my speaking. soul. Speaking. Ripper like a bandit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't make that sound. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like there's more. Holy Mother of God. At the same time, Loretta's agent, Beth, played by Divine Joy Randolph, has uncovered Fairfax's kidnapping plot and sets about heading across the globe to rescue her client. Along the way, she picks up a pilot who just happens to be completely enamored with her. He's played by Oscar Nunez. And the two slowly trek towards the island on which Loretta and Alan are trapped. Meanwhile, Alan manages to contact a former trainer of his, conveniently named Jack Trainer, who's played by Brad Pitt, to come and rescue them. This leads to a short-lived romantic triangle between Loretta, Alan, and Jack as they traverse the jungle in an ill-fated escape attempt. Ah! Uh, They're just sucking on my butt like a big old Jamba Juice. Oh. We're so close. I could actually find the lost city. If I don't get to this island, my friend and her cover model are going to die. I am driving. Oh! 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 oh. oh. As directed by Adam and Aaron Nee, whose last film was the entertaining Mark Twain reimagining Band of Robbers in 2015, the film moves along at a reasonably welcome pace. But this probably has more to do with the chemistry between the actors and the obvious fun everyone seems to be having in the film than it does with the actual nuts and bolts of the film itself. The Red Sage, getting you out of here. Why are you so handsome? My dad was a weatherman. Hey, whoa, she doesn't oh. need saving in there. Okay. Uh, what are you doing in there? Overall, The Lost City is remarkably enjoyable and incredibly fun. But there is not too much more to the film than the camaraderie between the players and the good time all involved seem to be having making the movie to make it more than just a random diversion.
that's our episode for this week. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to visit Cinema Nerds on Facebook and Twitter and at our website at cinemanerds.com.